in Mount Aubrey Cemetery. And nobody stared at us, because everybody was dead. <laughs> and it was just, it was a peaceful place to walk. Of course, it's beautiful and peaceful for anybody to walk there. But in particular, we could walk there, we could hold hands, and, and nobody cared. And we would also look at the gravestones, the, the headstones, and find couples who had the same large age distance between them, of which there were some. Um, and that was just a very special time in our, in our relationship. Um, I grew up in Southern California. I'm a fourth generation Californian, even though I've now lived in Massachusetts longer than I lived in California. And the cemeteries in California are very, very different. They're these huge expanses of grass that's watered if they have no business doing. And there's no particular plantings of interest, at least the cemeteries I ever saw. And so Mount Auburn really reminded me of um, more of an arboretum, which it is. Um, there is the, um, the Santa Anita Arboretum near the Santa Anita Racetrack at Huntington. And I used to go to summer camp there. We'd go for um, nature camp. And they used to film movies there. And it's a huge variety of, of plants that, that um, can handle the desert better. It's very rich in plant variety. And so when I went to Mount Auburn, it reminded me of that. Um, but I had never been to an actual funeral or burial or memorial service in Mount Auburn. And um, several years ago, maybe five years ago, um, another California cousin, we were the only East Coast cousins, um, he was actually my dad's cousin, passed away way too young at age 70. And he had always wanted to be buried in Mount Auburn. And his wife held his memorial service in the um, memorial chapel, and the reception was in the Vigilo Chapel where we were a few weeks Bigelow. ago. Yeah. Bigelow, sorry. Um, and it was very special to get inside the buildings. I've never been inside any of the buildings. And remember Mike Fender for that. Um, but what I had, what I didn't know about, were there any, so I write murder mysteries. Were there any murder mysteries set in Mount Auburn Cemetery? And I checked a little bit. Um, um, Jane Langdon wrote the Escher Twist, one of her Homer Kelly mysteries, that has a, a connection with, I think maybe the body falls off the tower, or yeah. falls. Um, and there's another one called Mansions of the Dead by Sarah Stewart Taylor. But nothing in the last um, 10 years, so that might be my next project, don't be surprised. <laughs> um, I'm so happy to be here among friends, um, Bill and Gary, Hank and Kate and Ray Daniel and the mystery author clan is a, is a very supportive, generous, and these are people, some of these are people who've helped me come up to where I am. Um, so we hope you enjoy the book and um, look out for a Mount Auburn mystery in a few years maybe. Thank you. <laughs>